as you all know, or as most people know, I was enslaved, imprisoned, trapped in the Christian school system from kindergarten until 11th grade until I turned 18 and chose to go to public school. Kids, if you go to public school, freaking enjoy it, embrace it because it could be worse. You could be in a Christian school. I get asked all the time how Christian school was, if I enjoyed it, and you know, what it was like. I hated it, I never fit in, I was alone most of the time, the teachers hated me, the principals hated me, the preachers hated me. It was no bueno, it was, I felt like such an outcast and being stuck in the Christian school system almost completely broke my bond with God. I turned into an atheist for, a, let's see, from, I'd say, 10th grade up until, well, actually, 10th grade until a year ago, really, I was an atheist. These people were so far from God, y'all, and they were supposed to be Christians. Like, it was a Christian school, but there was nothing about it that was godly at all. So I guess I'll give you a little preface before I get into the story time. If you want to click ahead to the story time, I'm sure somebody will uh, put the time here where the actual story begins. The first story of many. I went to two Christian schools. Kindergarten through fourth grade, I went to one Christian school. Uh, fifth grade, I was homeschooled. Sixth through... 11th, I went to a different Christian school. Um, the first school was not a school. Okay, I learned nothing. We basically sat around and watched TV. We talked. We popped a lot of popcorn. We went for joy rides in the teacher's car. We walked to the store. We walked uptown. We would go to the library and run around and play. And mind you, we did all of this without any permission from our parents. Like, our parents did not know what the hell we were doing. They did not know we were walking uptown through the ghetto. They did not know we were taking joy rides in the teacher's convertible. They did not know that we were, you know what I'm saying? We really weren't doing anything. Like my kindergarten teacher, she kind of tried. She had some weird values. She told us um, that SpongeBob, uh, Doug, you know the, 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 the show Doug Funny or It's Doug, whatever the fuck the show was. I don't know, it was on Nickelodeon. Muppets. Uh, Sesame Street, all of that stuff was of the devil. She said that sponges like Spongebob were not really meant to talk and they don't talk in real life and that people, that Satan created them to try and trick Christians and, and witchcraft and all this other crazy stuff. And little old me, my favorite movie was Harry Potter. Okay, so already I'm going into this Christian school system, the outcast, because all these other little kids were like, my mom won't let me get a Happy Meal because it's got Pokemon toys, and Pokemon is of the devil because it's monsters. What the hell are you talking about? I play Yu-Gi-Oh! That's a step up from Pokemon, okay? I love, me and my dad always rocked out to Ozzy Osbourne and Leonard Skinner and Judas Priest and Motorhead and Metallica, all that kind of stuff. And so little old me, kindergarten already, outcast, did not belong. Um, she would say things like, oh, oh, let me tell you this, this was so bad. In kindergarten, I was told listen to this, in Christian school that only one color went to heaven and it was white people. That's what I was told in kindergarten. I'm not saying all Christian schools say stuff like this, but both of mine that I went to were racist. Blatantly flat out racist. I've always been like anti-racist, like, you know what I'm saying? Like just the total opposite. So I, it was not a good, it was not good for me. Um, so yeah, I was told that, um, black people, um, were actually descendants of Cain. Like, you know, the story Cain and Abel where Cain killed his brother. And the mark of Cain was actually, you know, the curse or whatever was them being black. Like, that was how they were, you know, marked, like, his descendants were, that they were all black. And that's why black people are so bad and commit the most crimes is because they are stuck with the curse or the mark of Cain. That's what I was taught verbatim. That's what I was taught. Okay, and I would just be sitting there like, are these people serious? 
Um, that's a little preface of all the bullshittery that goes on in Christian school. Um, we'll get more into that later. Um, but for now, I'm going to hop into the first story I'm going to tell you guys. And it's going to be about the time that I shut down a pep rally because of a chicken. I'm in eighth grade at my Christian school. At this time in eighth grade, I am a huge, huge, raging animal rights ad advocate, activist, both. I think those are both acceptable words for the term. I was a PETA member. I'm no longer a PETA member because mm, they suck. I found out that they actually are not that great with animals. But, you know, I was trying to do my best. I was, like, handing out pamphlets at school and getting in trouble. I was stealing the circus tickets that they would hand out for free and, like, throwing them in the trash because screw Barnum and Bailey, that's why. So, yeah, I was a huge, huge animal rights activist back in the day. I still am, but, like, back then it was like, whoa, I was one of those. Like, mm, I was one of those. I was a vegetarian. I would, like, yell at somebody if they killed a spider. I was, it was, I was level 10 crazy and one day uh we only had well we only had a basketball team and a volleyball team and i think it was a pep rally for the basketball game this is how much we sucked we played each other we had an orange team and a blue team and we would play each other and i it, mm, yeah we had a pep rally for this guy let's get pepped for ourselves you know what i'm saying like we're gonna beat ourselves like it makes no freaking sense anyways so we're chilling, we're playing little games like the wheelbarrow race and like whatever, the, the egg race thing with the spoon, you know, just stuff like that. And uh, we're having a grand old time, you know, and we're sitting there and all of a sudden the little lady with the microphone, the little crazy lady with the microphone is like, okay, we have a special game for you guys today. And mind you, this Christian school was kindergarten through eighth grade like I was in the oldest grade there at the time but we were all in this one room in the in the gymnasium we were all all the kids in school were in the gymnasium and they bring a box a little tiny box out with little tiny holes in it and I'm just like immediately my radar is dinging I'm like what's in the box like Brad Pitt in the movie seven what's in the box what's in the box Okay, I'm like, there's an animal in the box. What are we doing? What's happening? What's about to go down? And the announcer lady on the microphone, I I'm not going to say her name. We'll call her, we'll call her Miss Jehovah. Miss Jehovah is on the microphone, okay? She's one of the teachers who did not have a teaching license, who did not go to college, but was a teacher. They did this crazy stuff all the time. There were teachers there that have never, not stepped foot on a college campus. You guys, crazy stuff. Miss Jehovah comes on the mic. We got a brand new game for you guys to play and it's gonna be so much fun. Yada, 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 this, that, and the third. They take out, they bring out the box, they open the box, there's a chicken in the box. It's a chicken. And immediately, everybody's head in my class, including my teachers, turns to me like this, like dominoes. Like, cause they knew I was about to pop the hell off. Cause I'm that crazy about animals at the time. And uh, my teacher's like, oh no, what's going on? Like, even she was like, what's about to happen? Like, this, what's going on? Like, why is there a chicken in the gymnasium where we have food? Like, this is illegal. Like, she has some sense. My eighth grade teacher was one of the best teachers. She actually has some sense. She was so smart. She used to be an archaeologi archaeologist and went to Egypt and, like, went to Israel and, like, traveled all over the world. Like, she was awesome. I love her to death. Still love her to death to this day. I have nothing bad to say about her. But anyways, and they're like, we're going to chase this chicken, and whoever's the first to catch it wins. Children, children, kindergartners, fifth graders, all chasing a chicken. For what? Okay, so immediately I'm like, oh, hell no. So I'm like this. My teacher's like, it's okay, Brittany. It's okay. It's going to be okay. It'll be over soon. It's okay. So I'm over here about to hyperventilate already because I'm like, they're going to just, why is there a chicken in here? Why are we bothering this poor chicken? This chicken was trying to go about its life on a farm somewhere. And here it is in the gymnasium being chased around by grubby little freak tards, okay? And I was not having it. I was sitting here like, okay, whoosa, whoosa. Well, the chicken wouldn't run. The chicken was just chilling, sitting there like, hmm, where the hell's my farm? Where the hell is my grains? Where the hell is my grass? 
why you ugly children looking at me? Okay, so I'm like, okay, maybe they'll stop because the chicken's not running, it ain't gonna work. They'll just end it, they'll we'll all go home, it'll be great, it'll be, it's fine, the chicken's gonna be fine. Nobody's gonna fall and land on the chicken and hurt it. No. The principal included, principal included in this scenario, starts kicking, on, kicking the chicken, not kicking it very hard, but like lifting it up with their foot, you know what I'm saying? Just enough to piss me off. Throwing it up in the air, chickens can't fly, so it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Just landing back down, still not running, still won't run. And I'm just sitting here like crying because I'm like, they're kicking the chicken! They're throwing the chicken! I'm just over here crying and my teacher's like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It ain't okay, bitch! It's not okay! Lord, I'm getting heated all over again. And then, the son of the preacher who like owns the school, okay, takes his water bottle and like just starts throwing it on the chicken. At this moment, Brittany lost her shit. <laughs> Oh, as soon as I threw that water on that chicken, my ass, I stood up on my chair and I was, I'm crying, mind you, everybody's staring at me already, and I scream, leave the chicken alone! As loud as I can, crying, everybody turns to me and I repeat myself, I said, leave it alone! Like Chris Crocker in the Leave Britney Alone video, that was me, but instead of saying leave Britney alone, insert the word chicken. They keep doing it. So I march my happy ass up to Miss Jehovah with the microphone, and I I take the here I am I'm I take the mic like this from her mouth, okay? I, I look at her, eighth grade little me, okay? Anxiety ridden as fuck, but I got some balls when it comes to saving animals, okay? At all times, I say this is ridiculous, and I'm crying, so I'm like this. This is ridiculous. This needs to stop. Why are we bothering this chicken? Leave the chicken alone. It's not running. You can't chase it. The game's not gonna happen anyway. Just put the chicken back in the box and leave the chicken alone. He looks at me like this. Hold on. Literally like this. Like just like she hated my guts and wished I would catch on fire right then and there. And she put brings the microphone back up to her mouth slowly and she's like, okay, the game is over. Let's forget it. Put the chicken back in the box. Yeah, you damn right. Put the chicken back in the box. That's what I thought, ho. That's what I thought. With these eighth grade hands, hi yo. Okay, so I was like, yes, it's a win. It's a win. But everybody was coming up to me like, why are you crying over a chicken? It's just a stupid chicken. I'm gonna take it home and I'm gonna wring its neck off and then I'm going to eat it. And I was just like, you do you, boo boo. You do you, boo boo. Store's not quite over. I get in the car to go home with Mama. Now, those who know Mama know that she's the white Medea. Okay? So I get in the car, my face is red, I'm still shaking up because it was like at the end of the day when this happened before we were supposed to go home. And she's like, Brittany, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you crying? What's wrong? What happened? Whose ass do I need to beat? Whose ass do I need to beat? And I told her what happened. And. <laughs> You know in the car ride at school when like you, there's like a flow of traffic and you're supposed to go one way? Mama put that 97 Honda Accord in reverse, bitch. She put that shit in reverse. She said, Arr! and she marched her happy ass in there. And I don't know what she taught them because I, I was too scared to go back in there because I was like, oh, hell, I'm going to get in trouble if I go back in there. My grandma cussing them out. Ooh, and it's a Christian school. I don't know if she cussed them, but she probably did. Um, she goes in there and she gives him a piece of her mind or whatever. She comes back out and she says, you ain't got to worry about that shit happening no more. I was like, go granny, go granny. Oh yeah, we team. Needless to say, that never happened again. And actually, I don't really remember another pep rally. Maybe one did happen after that. I don't really think so. I don't think it did. Not that I remember. I don't think I went if they did have another pep rally, but... Yes, that was the time I showed my ass at my Christian school because they was, you know, just, I don't want to say abusing because, I mean, they weren't going to kill the chicken, but they were just unnecessarily bothering a chicken, a live animal, you know what I'm saying? There was no point in it. So, yeah, that's the time I rescued a chicken from my crazy ass Christian school. If you like this, let me know if you want me to do more stories. From my Christian school days, I will. This was literally the most lighthearted story that I could tell about the, these people um, and the situations at this, these schools. Um, 
the most lighthearted one. I wanted to start off light because, you know, just to just, you know, just tread the water a little bit before we dive in and drown in it. Yeah, until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!